amazing instrument and has developed into an incredible voice in today's music. So many types of guitars, so many styles of playing, all sorts of gear. How does one make their voice be heard as a guitarist? My name is Jeff Floro and welcome to All About Guitar, where we talk tone, we talk technique, we talk gear. Where we discover how we can become better musicians in a world of constantly changing technologies. Where we take a good look at everything guitar. And sometimes not exactly guitar, but just as important so we can be more successful as a musician in today's music scene. So sit back and relax and let's explore All About Guitar. Good evening everybody, welcome to All About Guitar. Uh, tonight's show is one of my favorite type of shows because we get to play with toys and play with some great pedals and gear it's all about tone and sound, and uh, I am very grateful to have back on the show Gary Rodenko from the Amp Shop Bass Exchange, if Gary. you can see my shirt. Welcome back. He brought some new pedals from a company based out of Chicago called Daredevil Pedals, and we've been playing around with them a little bit before the show, and they're amazing. You're going to be wowed with what we have. Our guitar player for tonight Another great alum from All About Guitar. You can't uh, get rid of me, Jeff. I can't get rid of you, and I don't want to get rid of you. It's uh, <laughs> Steve Fister, and uh, it's great to have you back in here. It's well, always it's you. always amazing to have you here. And um, uh, also, Doug is he's off camera, but he's here. Uh, I want to welcome him over here. There, there Doug. he is. Yeah, he's. And real quick before we get into the pedals, Ooh. Steve just gave me his latest release. I want to make sure you guys see it. It's called Upside Down. And this is basically a live recording in the studio, right? You guys Actually, there's two live tracks on it. Everything's new studio stuff. New studio stuff. Yes. Okay, so fully fully produced, blown out, blown out. multitudinous guitars. <laughs> and uh, it's a beat. very cool picture of his one of his uh, Godin guitars, which is very cool. So, um tonight what we're, we're going to do is we're going to be we'll explain the pedal board in a second what's on here what they're what we're featuring for tonight. But I also want to shout out, <coughs> besides the uh, Steve Fister signature DAG guitar, which he's holding right now, we're gonna have we're gonna also be using in the demo two of the Woodcraft guitars. Um, this one, uh, Steve, pick that up for a minute. This is one of the coolest little guys. It's a short scale Les Paul. It's like a baby Les Paul, and it's a great playing guitar. And I thought, you know, for myself, because I have big pudgy hands. I tried that over at the base exchange. Look at that wood. Is that mahogany? That's mahogany. that's just like matched him. It's so beautiful. Get wood. Yeah, <laughs> really. Anyway, my I have big pudgy hands, so short scale guitars are not really my thing, but I could play that easily. It was this, effortless to play. You know, I played it at the base exchange. Mm -hmm. Gary put it in. I, it, I, it was fantastic. You could get this. On an airplane, no problem. Right. You know, it's it's so practical and it sounds really great. So, yeah. Yeah, it's really go. good. And let's show them the other one that you brought in. They're making some interesting guitars. Now, this one's kind of an interesting one. We'll be demoing this one. This Telecaster has uh, fan frets. If you look carefully, it, it tilts around. And look at, uh, show up, pull it up a little bit. Look at this bridge. He, they fan the bridge to compensate for the correct harmonics. And uh, no, the camera's over there, and uh, it plays amazing. You just can't look at your hands. If you look at your hands, it gets weird looking at the fan press. <laughs> but if you just play the guitar, it plays effortlessly, and it's really easy to play. And it's got some great tones. Uh, what pickups are in there? Pickups custom built for us by Howard Alliate. Yes, and we've had him on the show too. Mm, yeah, They're very good interesting pickups. pickups with these dual poles in here. Mm -hmm. So they sort of kind of give you a little bit strutty overtone. And especially when you're playing in position in between, Ooh. really, really helpful yeah, for yeah. the Telecaster because usually people skip that. They play like a neck or playing bridge, That's and it. nobody in here. But in here, it sounds like a strut with that famous right. sound, with everything. Really nice, melodic, well balanced. Well, 
We gotta check that. And plus, right. it's very light guitar. It's only six pounds, guys. Now, what's the wood on uh, the body? They using some kind of European light wheel or some kind. I forgot the name of that. Like I'll be something. Okay, maple neck, but it's just it's maple a different. Neck, it's yeah. a very light wood. It's beautiful very wood. Light wood. That's a real bronze saddle. Mm -hmm. It's a church bell bronze, not the brass. It's a bronze, so it has that resonance. So guitar. Yeah. Yeah, you can hear it. Acoustically, not like this, sounds like almost like acoustic guitar. Yeah. No, it it's pretty a lot live. Of, it's, a lot yeah, of the guitar is real live. There. And those pickups also like a good accommodation to whatever the sound and clarity and has the bites and everything, but at the same time. In the two positions, you can get almost like a straight right, sound. Right, right. Mm. Well, the we're gonna listen. To, we're gonna use all these guitars in the demo. But now let's pick up the. Uh, uh, I want you to pick up the pedal board so you guys can see what we're using. We're gonna explain a little bit what each of the pedals are, and then we're gonna go ahead and start uh, demoing them. So up here is the pearl, the uh, Fearless Daredevil, cocked and fearless. It's basically two pedals. The Fearless uh, is uh, the, it's basically the dual drive, the drive-by. The drive-by. In and there, the plus atomic, the, uh, atomic the Atomic Cock, which is basically a wah-wah without the pedal sweep. So you can dial in. It's basically like the, uh, like Hendrix used to do. He would just hold the pe wah-wah pedal in a certain position to get a certain tone. And he just gives that to you. So you just step it and you got, you got that like hollow nasal sound. That he would get, and then he has the supernova, which is a fuzz. it's a fuzz fa a fuzz type of thing. Right. The almighty bass is a f a, a distortion design device for bass, it's a but fuzz, it's fuzz as well. For the bass. Yeah, and it's but it sounds great on guitar. It's a deeper, richer sound. Then this one up here is the uh, silver solo, and that's a gain pedal. Or, no, that's, that's the treble, treble booster. booster. Treble booster. Mm. Like a range master. Like a range master. And the drive by. The drive by is a dual this stage. High low. And this one premium can craft it. Uh, transistor overdrive. Sort of like a famous tube screamer, but with a lot of okay. a lot of tones and characters. Right. And then the only other thing we're doing to alter the sound a little bit, it's all going into the amp, is we have a little hoff here just to give it a little bit of reverb. But mm -hmm. we're also featuring the Amp Shop amp here. So, uh, Gary, give them the specs a little bit on this amp. Uh, this is the idea, like a famous Tweed Deluxe mm. 59. But what we did, we put extra high power in there, so it will be more useful for the club situation. Mm. This amp running up to 30 watt mm -hmm. with a lot of headroom mm -hmm. so you can play any pedal boards anything with the clutch edition without being loud at the same time loud enough mm -hmm. to run it and support and get that some kind of clarity and stuff like that and pretty mm -hmm. much cool about this amp also it's a uh, designed to accept external speaker cabinet so you can bring so you can run 212 through that you can put another one and you can get you can increase basically 4 db of ah. spl on the stage Whoa. so even at the same volume but you sound louder if you need it you can create almost like a marshall type of tone with right. 212 in a little like a uh, like a regular tweet deluxe so what does that have in it six v6s six l6 oh wow okay. yes it's a so six it's a little six. beefier than it's a, a beefier than a deluxe of course it's that more cool yeah wow Tweed deluxe. That, that is a nice thing. And it's, of course, handmade here in California, point to point. Cool. We use insulation speakers in there. Very nice tone, very some kind of stuff, up to stuff. And, of course, if customers would like to upgrade, we can use like a custom made mercury magnetic transformers or another some kind of stuff. So there is some kind of options. And these are available now. These are available now. We're trying to keep the price, price uh, as low as it possible. That's why we're using like a standard components, nothing extra fancy but mm. for whatever it is it sounds it does the job it's it a it it's a great. powerful amp yes. i mean uh today tonight it's quiet in the studio so we can turn up a little bit but it's loud right. it's pretty play. loud okay well let's um what do we want to start with first now steve's using his signature guitar right now for the dag so what what i'm thinking we should do is go through all the pedals with your guitar, then okay. we'll go to the another a uh, next guitar and the pedals, okay. and just do the round robin type of thing where we just keep going cool. around. So yeah, so let's start with regular overdrive. Okay, like a premium handcrafted. 
So here's the normal. Here. That's normal. And then. Go to drive by. So that would be here's a normal. explain a little bit what he's doing the two top knobs there are are two different gain stages right if i'm correct, correct. low gain high so gain. he's by he's adjusting like for example when he was pulling back the one farther away the 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 the, the, the last stage that's a distortion it tightened it up a lot it still had the distortion but it it gave it a lot it, it allowed you got more chunk out of it as, but as you turn that up it's got plenty of gain so it will push any amp pretty hard so you get you can really make your amp sing wow next one we have supernova it's a fast face okay <laughs> favorite it's an almighty bass <coughs> that has some character so we're using it as a slide fuzz <laughs> and we increase and we increase it Adding a little bit range master on the top of that. Turn off the range master. No, keep the the, the neck pickup. I want to hear. Now let's try the the dual pedal. Now it's a atom drive by with the atomic cock, and you can add the flavor of the cock towards the, the cock. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. So. You know we were talking about Hendrix right. earlier. By doing this, and this is more like Gary mentioned said, like, like what Michael Schenker used to do, but still does, I'm sure. He's great. But let's play some of that. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
me interject for a second. Yeah, he has a knob. Basically, you can preset the sweep of sweep. the wall, where the wall is. Now, he has a toggle that he's hitting, and it changes the character of the... Of the uh, overdrive. Of It's the overdrive. It's a low overdrive or high, like a heavy overdrive. Okay, so like it, so yeah, it gives that... It sounds a, like a deeper... sounds almost like a deeper sweep, but it's basically yeah. just adding lows to it. But it's really versatile. And it basically, you can get all those tones that like Hendrix got off the box just holding it, but it's at a fixed right. position. A fixed position. Yeah. So you get that nasally that. type of sound or that sound when he I has really it all like the way it. depressed. Because you don't have to use the, the wah setting if you don't want, right? You can just go. You can just turn it off. And then it's basically the, the by drive. It's just the drive. And the drive sounds great. It's got this, the two position switch, the high and the low. Yeah, it has everything on the regular. It's the same uh, connection, but plus that extra. Now, we're using the uh, Woodcraft, the, the Tele. So, a little different sound. So, real quick, yeah. before we start with the pedals, Ooh, nice go through all of the tones. Just try each pickup and then... That's the treble. treble. Let's go right to the neck, then. Now, now, Gary, what I want you to do is bring down the volume a little bit of the amp so the amp doesn't break up. Okay. That way, everything we're getting distortion-wise will be from the pedal so people can hear. I want to make sure that it's clean enough, but pretty clean. Because the really the the character of these the, the distortion is what really makes these pedals sing. Okay, so he's he's set up. Let's start again with the um, this drive. No, the other one. The, this one. That one. Okay. <laughs> see that there's plenty of power out of the pedal he's it's like really and forced overdrive. i mean listen to his clean sound right now so it's pretty reserved but he's pushing that amp that amp is really clipping when he turns up the gain on those on those two stages so and it has a pre and post stage really serious overdrive <laughs> drive by okay now we're drive on the by. drive by <laughs> Bring it down and then bring it down a little bit, then dig in and tell, see if it blooms. Okay. Uh, well, oops, here we go all the way. Kicked in the treble boost. That was the yeah range master on the, the range master. <laughs> it's called silver solo. Silver solo. Silver now solo. that yeah, that's a good. Uh, <laughs> that'll make your your marshals sparkle. That that <laughs> silver solo will definitely do that. Okay, let's go. Let's down go to, to, to the Mister Fast, the bass one. <laughs> Thank you. 
That's pretty impressive. And Supernova. Supernova. <laughs> back a little bit there was a sweet sound that you got It started redlining over here. If you buy these pedals, you play like that. You play like that, yeah. I guarantee. No, but there's interest in me because, like that that supernova when he just dialed in that one spot, it it had that tone. That no, you want to play because it's pushing you to play. Yeah, sort of like a you know like an extra type of yeah pushing you. So let's try this guy, Mister Cocked. Okay, so. Yeah, with that when it when you open when you pull it to like it's the pedals down, it gets that kind of Hendrixy type of Stratty type thing. I mean, Telecaster. Telecaster sounds great. <laughs> One thing I wanted to that I just noticed that with the fan frets, I mean I I, I couldn't look at it when I'm playing because it, yeah, you play it's great. It plays plays like a normal. Normal yeah, you just can't slightly, look at it. Slightly, very fan, slightly fret, not too much. I thought I had something to drink on my way down here. Man. That's look that's at, the better look, look at when this. you drink a couple of couple of beers. Well, looks go. normal. It's perfect. It's perfect. <laughs> but even the back, look at the the way it's it's yeah, off it's center com- the same com- way here. Compensated bridge. The compensated bridge. Of course. Very good and very light. Plus, we using real vintage potentiometer <gasps> from seventies and NOS. Oil and paper capacity. <laughs> Ooh. Gauge strings you have on that right now. Ten. Those are tens. How ten. do they feel for tens? They feel they feel pretty good. I'm you know I'm one of those guys that <clears throat> uses nines. <laughs> but I mean it's but, it does it feel like nines? Because I'm wondering if that the way the scale is set up, it's uh, if it would make it slinkier for you. Well, you know, it, it doesn't play hard. I'll put it to you that way. Um, and the way the frets are, you don't have any problem bending the string. And it's very stable. Sometimes with nines, okay, I, I confess, um, I use heavier bottom for the drop D tuning. But I want to get that real wide vibrato up high, and sometimes, you know. Um, but this, you could work up to this, no problem. Steve, did you do the baritone on this guitar? Do you remember that baritone tune? Can oh, that, yeah, you yeah, think, I think so. Because that was one of the things you were mentioning, that the way that's set up with the scale, it could tune. You could make that into a baritone did, pretty easy. You did easy. the baritone tuning on that. 
I remember that. That and was yeah. sounded like a like a like a real, 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 real. Uh, yeah. Metal. So take a yeah. lift the guitar up so they can see on the camera. If you look at the way it's set up, look at the the lower string, the low E string. The length of it from the nut to the bridge is longer. One inch longer. What from the lower the high E? From the high to low. From the high to low. So the, the, the length of the low E string is an inch more than the the high E string. So evidently the scale's variable in the guitar. So as the so it's optimized for each string, so the harm you know, the uh, octave and the harmonic is way more balanced. It's balanced it's tuned better and like a, I would say you wouldn't have any problem keeping this in tune. You know, yeah, yeah, tens are definitely the way to go on this, and it's well, it, it probably stays more in tune because the way the scale it's more accurately scaled. And because on a conventional guitar, it's there is a compromise there. Yeah. yeah. Of course, me bending the hell out of it. Yeah. <laughs> See all the clarity? Very yeah, it's it's uh, that's one of the things that's nice about that guitar and, and and this amp. It's real clean and it has all the overtones, the correct overtones. And that is very strat like. What are the controls on that, on the, the booster? Level and range. Level and range. Okay, so... Range probably gives you amount of... All right. We're full up. Wow. <coughs> He's interacting just, with the, the 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 treble booster with the different fuzz. effects. So right now he's using the uh, the the uh, almighty almighty bass fuzz. Mm -hmm. But what's interesting is they really do work well. Integrate. They do. They interact well, and they do create a different sound by combining the two more than you would think. With the cocked, with the, cocked. the cocked pedal, and the with the it, it, high or low. Um, Jeez, they're both good. Just even the low end is not not flabby. A lot of times with, it's tight, with the yeah. fuzz, it gets very tight. Or they get, it gets too loose sounding, and some of the fuzz will really get away. This is way more... And, and you know, the thing about these pedals, nothing sounds grainy at all to me. You know how sometimes sometimes you can get the... Uh, and you get that buzz. That little extra, it's a funny little harmonic or something, none of these have it. So, you know, the doll has a very, very... he's using germaniums or if he is he's getting a vintage germanium sound which is it's, it it's a smoother like top end 
It's not real buzzy, you know, and fuzzy. That's what happens with a lot of the buzz face reissues and stuff. You, you mm-hmm. get it, it. It sounds buzzy, a little too buzzy on the top. <laughs> Nice. All right, let's try the the baby Paul. Let's try baby Paul. The baby. <laughs> okay. Let's get small. Now for something really different. Okay. We are downsizing now. Now, what's on? Talk a little bit about this guitar. What's what are the pickups on this thing? Oh yes, guys. This guitar has very unique type of stuff. Uh, really nice mahogany piece with a maple top. Oh, yeah. Of course, like a build like a. Regular Les Paul. And it's with really nice. Thick. It's really hefty. Thick, yeah, hefty. Yeah. With neck reinforcement. Cool about both of those guitars, I forgot to mention. All of them has the double uh, double titanium rods reinforcements inside. Whoa. So it's right oh, the here. Tr- you mean the truss rod? rod? No. Not the truss rod. Extra two rods which reinforce the neck Ooh. on the top of the truss rod, of course. Okay. So the neck is very stable and not shifting, not moving, not nothing. Plus, this guitar has the custom-made pickups by Sayoko Kuwabara. That's her version of PAFs. So they are really nice tones. So play just a little bit of it clean, just to get an idea of the tones in it. Right, now is that just the guitar, correct? Yeah. Okay. Do me a favor and bring the gain down on the amp so we just get it clean, then we'll so dirty that's, it up. That's, that's a clean. Because the humbuckers are really... Because the humbuckers. Yeah, like that's a meaty. big difference in output. I can make it a little bit brighter. Even than your, your guitar, too. That's hotter than your guitar. It seems like it. I can make it a little bit brighter. Plus, it's a little deceiving because of the lower tuning. It makes it sound a little fatter, but... Just the amp. You don't, you don't have any of the pedals in right now, right? No, no pedals. All right, hold on a second. I'm going to try to clean it up a little bit. You can, Jim. That's a minimal. That's a minimal. It's all, all the way down and it's all, still clipping all the way down, it? yes. A little bit, well. Yeah. No, wow. It's a Les Paul. It's a humbucker. Yeah. Of course, they push it. That's that's hot. That pickup's hot, man. That's breaking that g- amp like around minimum. Nine point five. So maybe. it's nine. It's not so. Yeah. yeah not super hot. But back in the day, remember we back did one day, so the cool. PAF is sort of kind of on a hot yeah. spot. Mm-hmm. That's so, yeah. like super distortion out- you remember output. The, ooh, we want to show our age now. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead. And, same thing. Let's go the same procedure. Okay, Start with let's the. Let's go with the drive. Okay, the drive. Let's go. Uh... Roll back the second drive a little bit and bring up the first ones. Uh, yeah, bring the first one up. Stays pretty good. Yeah. Yep. It doesn't color the sound at all. It gives you a lot of you. You still get the voice. The guitar still comes through the tone of the guitar. So this is the um, drive by. This one. This was the premium was pretty, yeah. overdrive. This is drive by. <laughs> Tighter, it's tight. <laughs> 
It's like, it's totally different. It's like so much gain. Those pickups actually have very interesting character. They have that bite, you know. Which yeah, like, but I mean, uh, it's like twice the, as loud as the other two guitars. I mean, it's that. That's in a that. smaller package. Yeah, it's tiny, but man, he's breaking. I mean, it clips the amp by itself. Yeah. Uh, this, the drive-by is really versatile. Very well. The whole yeah. thing, you, you can put that into the front end of a slightly distorted amp. Yeah. And just take it right out. So it would tube scream only with more versatility, I think. Yeah, and it and you've got plenty of gain. So if you're using an amp that's that has, a, you know, that's fairly clean, like a super, okay. that has enough gain to push that preamp to really go. Yeah, that'll take you off to, you know, rock and roll. Yeah, and I mean, sure. not necessarily just full fuzz. Mm -hmm. I mean, just as a... An overdrive. Again, remember these pedals, you don't have to have all the distortion. Mm -mm. You can just have a clean overdrive or fairly clean and it'll dirty up the amp and push it. All right. Nice. All right, let's try the um what do we have? What else did we it's fuzz. Did we do the bass one yet? Supernova. Yeah, but did we do the other no, one? No, we didn't do it yet. Do that one first. Okay. That one. Let's do this one. <laughs> Trouble booster, so that's been tr and and how you dial that in really affects the greatly how the uh, the Almighty uh, Respond, yeah. responds to it. nice and again the way they interact is that that the treble booster really does all of those pedals i noticed they very nice like interact with each other yeah. right so n nothing like a one pedal sort of kind of off or killing another they really helps no matter what kind of combination agreed, agreed. It, that doesn't usually happen yes and we're doing mr drive-by okay 
Stepping on stuff. <laughs> no, it, 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 the way he's interacting, there's like sweet spots that you get in that, and yeah. it, it really, really you works well. You play one of those shoes with any guitar, a bike of single coil, and you can Combine get them. them. That means you got to buy them all. Buy exactly. All the That's the whole point. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, the 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 um, the silver the silver solo is definitely a, a good complement to, to to several you, of those pedals. So all right. them. Yeah. The the bass one really works, and you can mm -hmm. get the brighter sound with the bass with the the silver solo. It really gets it, but it has a, a nice mellow type of a bluesier type of thing. It does. It does. Let's try Supernova on the Les Paul. Okay. So this is more of a fuzz, right? Yeah. So we'll play. Uh... that control that you're turning depth. it's the depth is it like a contour is it like a contour yeah because yeah it's scooping it it's a up bit. actually more like a tighter bottom and scooping it yeah <laughs> almost like an octave down, right?
try to pull off harmonics. <laughs> It's hard to tell. All three of them. Everything, everything, everything. <laughs> it's hard to tell. What I was trying to do is I was bringing down the the general gain, so it wasn't because these are powerful pedals, and they will overdrive. I mean, it's obvious it's overdriving. It's pushing that input. So I was cleaning that up a little bit, but you can get the tone by the interaction of the pedals. I was able to get the harmonics by pulling up the gain, not pushing the amp as much, but doing it more within the pedals or in this case, I actually had the treble booster kind of overdrive the um, uh, the supernova a little bit, and it got that tone. It started pulling. He was pulling harmonics out of there. He was able to get you know some pretty. And interesting enough, no microphonics, no feedback. And did you notice that? No squeal, yeah. nothing. No, no squeal, squeal, no nothing. nothing. Yeah. Yeah. No. That well, a lot of that's the a those are great pickups. The interaction. They give you the squeal. Now, no bring, squeal. bring back your your DAG. Mm -hmm. um, because that, that's a great guitar. It's just so powerful. I mean, it, it's hard to tell on the show because you're hearing it through the the, P, the the board, but that guitar is almost twice as loud as everything else. I see the tuning difference. Loud as well. That's true. And that's at the minimum. minimum. That's still at the minimum volume. So now by... As a matter of fact, who cannot withhold the loud sound? We're working right now on the new amp, mm -hmm. which is designed for the studio recording musicians. That will be tube, stereo, guitar, amp, 3 watt a channel. <laughs> so you can wow. put any stereo effects through that, through like a 212 cabinet, 210, Beautiful. whatever you want. You're playing real tube sound with all the stuff and at like a lowest possible. What are you going to use for the power tube? Oh, it's a special tubes, special design tubes. We're using the, uh, I forgot the power tubes, but uh, preamp tubes, they're micro tubes, which they used to micro use, tubes. micro tubes, yeah. which they used to back in the days in the computers. And Mr. Aspen Pittman used them for those tube microphones. Right, right, right. Those, those tubes, ones. preamps, they last for 10,000 hours without changing them. So right. basically, and they're last available, forever. Like you can get they're them. available, yeah, you can get those tubes. They they cost pennies, you know, they're not expensive. People don't know what to do with them. But you're you know? you're at three watts. I guess you couldn't use a 6V6. That would be too loud. 6V6 too loud. It's a different tube. It's sort of kind of between 6V6 and AL34. And L84, I forgot the name, but that's like a, not really But it's popular. a tiny one. It's tiny a, watt, yeah, and it's like a stereo, you can run them. Stereo, mono, whatever you want, right. two speakers, and you can play mm. three watt of power with the gain. It'll, it'll so bad. when you crank yeah. it down, you get like a one watt, really nice clean tone with any pedal board. Now, in, a, in playing a gig like the Baked Potato or something like that, do you think this would be plenty of power? More than ample. Yeah, absolutely. So, because I mean, yeah, you're using some it's, big amps. We're killing Doug over here. He's I know Doug, <laughs> yeah. Doug's ears are bleeding you know. right now. We have to take him to the Since, hospital. This yeah. this would really uh, this only this on, on one. It's it's yeah. It's it's not even. It's one. Yeah. It goes to twelve. Yeah. So oh, yeah. <laughs> this no. one goes to twelve. I love it. It's so no, it's, it's a really nice sound. Beautiful. It is. It's a that, that is a great. That's a great amp. So all of the stuff's available at the Amp Shop Basics Exchange, which is www.basexchange.com. And do you want to mention the the upcoming jam? Mention upcoming jam. Mention. Go ahead. Yeah. By the way, tomorrow, guys, who are available in town, 
we have a jam session at LA. It's a famous recording studio on on Lancashire Boulevard, which back from 60s probably, right? All big name guys been recording there. I cannot even make the list, you know. Anyway, so they're starting to do live jam to like a, do some time? kind of. They starting at nine o'clock. So it's a free admission. Come in in there, bring your guitar. Whoever is in there, you can jam, you can play, you can hang, you can, you know, make the social type of, you know, connections. Mm-hmm. That's designed for that to put like a local community nice. together. But yeah. uh, check out the uh, base exchange and go down to their store. Give them the address. The address is 4870 Lancashire Boulevard in the heart of the Noho District in North Hollywood. Right. California, USA. Mm-hmm. And you got to try these these uh, these woodcraft guitars. You need to go and try the necks. The necks are really, I mean, they're getting great tone, but you know, the, the necks really make a difference, right? It's a big difference. And big difference. I and, really and nice. Steve's like me. We're picky about nice necks. If they're not if they're not good, forget it. Um, but all of this stuff's available there. These are all available now for right. You have them in stock. We have them in stock. We just and got the shipment from. Daryl Devil and all pedals, brand new in the box, untouched. This is just a demo board. So whoever guys might be interested in studio producers, whatever, we create the demo board so you can. Right. Okay. So you can you go can, down there and check them out. If you want to look them up, it's www.daredevilpedals.com, and you can hit, see all the pedals that they have. They have a bunch. There's even more than just this, but these are the main ones, and. Uh, stevefister.com for uh, information on Steve. Steve, what's going on with you? Um, just go to the website. we got a brand new record. And uh, it's... Uh, Are you playing locally or anywhere? What's coming up gig-wise? Not until the new year. To the new uh, year. That's good. the new year, but there's uh, a bunch of dates have come in already. So check his go site for that. Yeah. yeah, go to the site. Okay. No, that's good. Um, anyway... Uh, <laughs> We're out of time. I'm actually over time. But uh, thank you guys again. Um, they'll be back soon. There's much more coming up from the Amsterdam. Do you want to play us out? Okay. Everybody, have a great week. We'll see you next week.